In this video we look at how you can quickly and easily generate a laser cutting quote from a customer's email in IP Laser. Firstly we get our email from our customers with the drawings attached and an explanation of his requirements. For this demonstration we will assume that all of the drawings are clean and have no errors. If they did have errors then Drawing Doctor would pick up the errors and we could open them in Drawing Doctor and correct them. So we have started a new quote and from looking at our email, we have 5 parts out of quarter inch pickled and oiled, and 1 part out of 3 8 inch pickled and oiled. Also the quantities are all 10 off, except for the 3 8 thick part which is 15 off. It makes sense to just bring them all in as quarter inch, and change the 3 8 part thickness and quantity in the quote. So we go through the process of material selection, and then we will make the quantity 10. Now by going to our email and selecting Ctrl plus A, we can grab all of our drawings and drag them into our quote. We could change our quantity now but we'll do it in the quote instead. So save and done and we have our parts in the quote. Let's now select our part that is 3 8 and click the right mouse button we can make various edits, so we will go ahead and change both thickness and quantity. With the changes made we select apply. With all the quantities and parts correct we press calculate. Once the price is calculated we press confirm to create the quota estimate, whichever phrase or term you use in your part of the world. And then we simply email it direct to the customer contact that requested the price. OK. From receiving the RFQ to creating this quote and sending it back to the customer took us 1 minute and 23 seconds in real time, with no video editing to shorten the time. But how accurate and consistent is the price? And how did we calculate it? To explain this, we will go back into the quote and look at how we have interrogated the drawings and then applied our speeds, our cutting rates, our material cost and markup, and other rules. There are four components to a price for laser cutting. The main ones are the cutting charge and the material cost. But also any any secondary processes like folding or powder coating and the freight to deliver the final product. We can calculate all of these components. Let's look at the cutting charge. The first thing IP Laser does is interrogate the drawings as they are brought into the system. It will correct small errors applicable to some open entities. But as you can see here it works out an optimal cutting path. Once it has worked out the path and is advised of material type and thickness. It will then know the cutting and piercing rates from our rate tables. It will then apply these rates along with the machine's acceleration and deacceleration in both straight line and radially, around curves, then using these in the machine's rapid speed, it will calculate an extremely accurate processing time. We can also allow for a setup and transfer table or handling time. You may need to pause and at times replay this video, because this is not just a spreadsheet. Most of these settings are configured when first setting up IP Laser, but if you are the administrator, you can tweak them to suit. Let's now look at the material charge and how this is calculated. As you can see we nest each individual part onto a sheet, the size of sheet used is also selectable in the quote. It nests the part to see the maximum quantity of parts it can put onto the sheet. That is shown here as parts per sheet. It then looks at the scrap left over and applies the scrap rules that the vendor has set and determines if it will charge the whole sheet or a portion of the sheet. There are different options for doing this, depending on how you want to approach it. We recommend the strip consumed option. Once this has been determined it will divide the cost of the sheet used by the quantity of parts it could fit. This figure, unit material, is now our cost price of the material used per part, including the material markup. There is a default material markup, but individual customers can have higher or lower markups, as they can be given cutting rate discounts or in fact rate increases. Let's now quickly touch on secondary operations and freight. We also offer support for secondary operations, in particular a press break. You simply need to set this up by putting the specifics of your internal labor, manual handling and press capacity, handling times for large and small parts, etc and a folding cost can be easily and accurately calculated and added to the price. But you can also create your own secondary ops. Once we have interrogated the drawings and applied the material grade and thickness, we then have all the parameters of the part available including size, mass, surface area, etc. 
So if for example you wanted to create a secondary op for powder coating, you would use the area of the part in your calculation to determine the square feet. Or perhaps tapping a thread could use different tap sizes with different costs for tap and material thickness. You also have the ability to ask secondary op questions when creating the quote, like what markup? Or what sell per square feet? As you might have different sell prices above or below the default rate in your secondary op. Now with freight you need to put in locations and package sizes. Package sizes may be a small carton or box up to 25 pounds max capacity or a pallet with a max capacity of 1000 pounds or greater. Then also put in the maximum cubic dimensions. Freight charges for each package size and location are put in the system. Then freight is automatically calculated by looking at the mass and dimensions of all of the items in the quote. As you have probably gathered this is the main window of IP Laser, with the side menu here, giving us access to the main actions like starting a quote, accessing material costs, dispatching or checking orders in progress. It is important to understand that different users can have their access to different sections in the system controlled by the administrator. Users can also be given quote value and discount limits. This quote bar has other various quoting and ordering tools available like automatic drawing splitter or large job upload, using a CSV file to make quoting with IP Laser even faster. We hope this video has given you an appreciation of IP Laser. It is a program developed by people that have owned, successfully ran and sold profile cutting job shops. Before we finish we will leave you with another quick sample of yet another tool. If we want to keep the email information with the quote, you can grab it from your email program and drag the whole email, including drawings, and attach them to the quotation. There are benefits in using IP Laser, not only in speed and accuracy of quoting, but also accessing of all drawings and email information from any computer, anywhere. Thank you for watching, 